Hey guys, uh, just woke up, tired, and really stiff and sore. I never expected that. I don't even, after, I guess staying in one position for so long, I didn't really know what to expect. <laughs> but now I know. <laughs> um, gonna go to the, uh, oh, the breakfast. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it's Oasis and Tainoxine, I'll give a review. <laughs> and, oh God, there's a person. Can you see? You cannot see. Oh, well, okay. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> No. Because we're taking a video. No, we're taking a video. It doesn't mean to stand still. Stop it. Bigger, I'd say. Yeah, so the final feedings over there, but these are the bigger gators here. Look at that one. Jesus Christ, they're just so big. The one, uh, the one way in the far back, he just like thumped his tail, and he could, I feel like I could feel it on the ground. Oh, Blue wider. Good job, buddy. So it's awesome <laughs> to be able to show off how intelligent they are, show off some that do chip. Come on, chip. Little wider? Good job, bud. Not you. <laughs> um, lost my place with those hands. Their own body temperature. So our friends who pulled themselves out on land and they're just lounging around might look a bit lazy, but they're actually thermoregulating. They pulled themselves out, they stretched their little limbs as far as they could so they could try and get what little sun's peeking through these clouds and they have a few features that help them soak up as much warmth as possible. The first is that beautiful dark charcoal gray color you see on them. Of course, you know, if you wear a dark shirt on a bright sunny day, you're a lot hotter than if you wore a light colored shirt, right? Oh, Don't God. worry. Those little bumpy ridges are called osteoderms. They're bony platelets sewn right in the skin, separate from the rest of the skeletal system, and they're covered in a network of blood vessels. She missed. <laughs> oh, there she cut it on purpose. I think. Uh, it's it's definitely kind of approaching. Did she? Well, like that's all mine. You know, I'm not saying we're taking the animal in this right? Scratch his shoulder. Watch out for that one right behind you, Kel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Isn't that good? Now I see a lot of people have. Hello. 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 Hello.
Not very cute, but I'll still take you home. <laughs> These snakes are in there. These three snakes are in there. Oh, this snake. Back of the park. Reminds me of Jurassic Park. To the alligator farm, just to watch me feed out what's essentially a brand cereal for crocodilians. Just a healthy little packet right there. So I brought something a little bit more exciting with me. We'll see what's on the menu today. <laughs> Most importantly here at our park, it's enriching for our alligators. For them to be able to be tactile with something that's more like what they might eat in the wild, it's very stimulating for them physically and mentally. Also, obviously, this rat offers some things that a pellet can't, right? It's got meat, fur, bones, guts, everything that makes an alligator very, very excited. And I see you down there so excited. You want to come up and get it? You're just inching your way up. You got a leap for it, buddy. Oh. There you oh, hey. go. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> now a little bit more about our park. We have been here for over 120 years, but we did get our start across the street in what is now Anna Anastasia. Anything that comes along when it does come along. But obviously, they can handle a little bit more than a rat. You've probably seen on TV them taking down wild pig and adult deer. Not that's this size, that's definitely possible. But even at this size, you still need a way to, to consume and take down that animal. You want a little treat, sweetie? And you'll see it looks like she's chewing that rat up, but she's actually more positioning it in her mouth so she can tilt her head back and let it fall on down. They don't have the same throat muscles as we do. And when they do grab on to Oh. Oh. Did you get Hello. Did you get that one? 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 Did Hello. Ready? You got at least one of them. There's two there. Alright guys. Just about to start leaving the uh, alligator farm and zoology conservation place in St. Augustine. Uh, it was fun. It was real fun. Um, hot, <laughs> freaking Florida, uh, St. Augustine, Florida as well. Um, pretty cool, definitely. I don't know if you can see. It's just, it's surprisingly big. Um, I'll probably do another, uh, video on the animals and how they're kept and stuff. I don't know, you hate seeing it. You know, I hate taking, I mean, I have took hundreds of photos. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but it is about to start raining, it looks like. You can see it's pretty, pretty ugly. And I'm either going to be heading home tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, regardless, the weather is going to be very, very poor. Good thing I brought my rain gear. <laughs> Got to in Florida. Um, I'm probably gonna head back to the uh, the condo hotel now. Um, peace. Hopefully, the traffic the audio wasn't terrible. But uh, all right, have a good one, guys. <sighs> nope. 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 Not really getting good. Well, looks like there's a rain, and it looks like it might be to stay for a while. Um, I don't wanna. I don't wanna ride in rain. So, looks like I might spend the night here, uh, and hopefully, 
the uh, the rain will be gone sometime tomorrow, and then I'll be able to. Uh, well, it's gonna be cold, windy, which I'm excited for the cold, but the wind it's not too fun on the bike. Um, depending on the weather tomorrow, I might hit the castle. If not, fuck it. Um, we'll see.